Hey guys, I am Rajika and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we'll be doing the manifestation challenge. What is manifestation? Manifestation is basically you thinking consciously about a thing that it will happen to you and it will happen because I am also a strong believer of manifestation. I believe that if you think good things, good things will happen to you. That's the main reason I am doing this video. If you guys know, then I had done this video called Planner Flip Through. If you guys have not watched it, I'll link it above here but if you guys have watched you guys exactly know what i'm talking about so in front of every month i have kept this challenge so in front of february month i kept this manifestation challenge it's a 15 day challenge now this challenge is not something that i created on my own it's something that i borrowed it from another planner and there are challenges in front of every month some that i have taken out from pinterest some from google and some from another planner so this one this manifestation challenge is something that i have taken out from another planner and in today's video i'll be doing this 15 day manifestation challenge one activity each day so without further delay let's get started the first activity in the manifestation challenge is creating a vision board i created a vision board in the starting of the year and cannot believe it's march already so what i'm gonna do is add more pictures to my 2024 vision board these were the initial images that i had kept in my vision board now i'm adding few images first is this lucky girl good things are coming i have a beautiful life 2024 is my year a place called home drinking water regularly if you can see it's written here new era unlocked i don't know this picture was just calling out to me so i kept this one and a concert so slowly i'll be taking these out and keeping more pictures to my vision board as of now this is the update as for the dream life, what I did was I sat down, cleared my thoughts, took no pressure, opened Pinterest and started pinning things that I did not currently have in my life but would want in the near future. Now I already have a vision board for the short term goals. Whatever images you see here are the long term goals. Definitely looks beautiful in the pictures. I'm all ready to head out but before heading out I wanted to do one activity of the manifestation challenge which is reciting three affirmations. Now this is new to me I have not done this before. I have it in my mind I do listen to affirmations as well. If you guys are interested I'll link it above here. I do listen in the Spotify. It's called The Value of Phoenix. And I hope it will be helpful to you guys as well. I do listen but I actually do not ever say it out loud. So I'm gonna say my three positive affirmations out loud. I have written it down because I forget it. So first one is I add value to the world. Second, I am strong enough to handle anything that life throws at me. And thirdly, I own my life and I own my life and I am free to make my own choices. So if you guys are into affirmations and if you guys like listening to affirmations, I highly recommend you to listen to this Spotify playlist called The Value of Phoenix. There's a whole bunch of affirmations when you're feeling confident, woman empowered affirmations. So do have a look at it. I was down with viral fever and had not been doing quite well so I was not able to do the manifestation challenge for a couple of days. Now that I feel much better I thought why not resume the manifestation challenge. So for today's manifestation challenge I'll be doing a couple of activities all together and I am here at my study table because this manifestation challenge requires a lot of thinking. I found a very peaceful environment right over here and I am all settled here to do the manifestation challenges so some of the manifestation challenges include creating an action plan for your goals i'm looking right here because i'm looking in my planner and secondly is write one thing that your intuition is telling you thirdly asking the universe for a sign of alignment all of this requires a lot of thinking so i thought why not do it in one sitting overall so let's do it <music> For creating action plan for your goals what i did is there were some goals in my 2024 resolution that seemed a bit impossible so i listed down all those goals that seemed a bit impossible i wrote them down and i thought 
I literally thought a lot how can this be achieved I listed out the points and that definitely helped me clear out my mind as well now it does not seem quite impossible but at the start it felt a bit impossible so if you guys also have some of the goals that you think it's impossible and you don't know how you achieve those goals I highly suggest you to sit down relax clear out your minds and select a space where no one will disturb you think a lot because no one knows your life more than you do that's the best way you can think of an action plan for your goal so that's what i have done moving to the next activity of the challenge for this next activity i had to write one thing that my intuition is telling me now my relation with my intuition is very very strong sometimes i am even scared of my intuitions now that i have to write something that my intuition is telling me I am completely blank so all I have written is few words universe has a great plan for me and universe is supporting me in different ways that's all I have written I don't know if that counts as an intuition but when it comes to my intuition regarding other people I am right 95% of the time I must say so that's what I wrote next activity in the manifestation challenge is asking universe for a sign of alignment now it's not like the moment i ask the universe for a sign it's gonna reply to me it's not like that so for this activity what i did was i did reflect back on my past days and i did remember that i saw a number 999 that's an angel number and 999 means something is gonna end but something beautiful is gonna start for something beautiful to start you'll have have to let go of things that is holding you back so i saw this number 999 on my trip to Manakamana and i did film it as well and i think it's a sign from the universe and it's not like you see those numbers every day you don't see 0001112222 every day i take that as a sign from the universe and sometimes you also see the numbers 1111 the times it may be or you see it in banks as well it can be anywhere anytime so that might be a sign from the universe another day calls for another manifestation challenge i'm all ready and excited for this one because it's scripting your dream life now i've never thought about what my dream life would be like it's the first time i'm doing this so i do not want to do in my room i want to find some cute place i want to brainstorm there so let's go and find a cute cafe and brainstorm what i want my dream life to be like another day calls for another manifestation challenge activity yesterday i scripted down my dream life and it just left me with so many hopes so many gratitude cheerfulness hopefulness every good word there is like if you guys have not tried it i highly recommend you to try scripting down your dream life so today i'm gonna close my eyes meditate and try visualizing that the universe is supporting me and i am actually living that life I use a app called balance this is the app so you, in this balance app you will have the foundation plan motivation plans but today i will choose the afternoon recharge pack that is the midday reset so this is the one research shows that your focus and your productivity actually improve any time you take a break so over the next few minutes I'm going to help you reset and recharge so that you can feel refreshed and ready for the rest of your day. To settle in, gently lengthen your back and see if you can consciously relax any areas of tension in your body. मलाई एउटा च्यालेन्जमा हेल्प गर 
What challenge? To mom, manifestation challenge. Kari ra ko so, ani identify doubts and beliefs. Mero, you know, that limit me. I after he thought it out. I was brainstorming it, but I could not come up with anything. If nay, no, I'm not after ko sorry God. So biggest doubt that you have. is a doubt in yourself mm. what i feel is like you are a really great person and all of us see that and uh, mm. and you are talented but you mm. doubt your own talent so you could uh, do something great big grand great tara tini chai kaso huncha ni saktaina ki sakla ki maybe no eti thore nai garera herum bhanera chai garcha ke you mean i dream small i should start dreaming big yes <laughs> So it's another day and another day calls for another manifestation challenge. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to write down all the progresses I have made so far. Now for that I will be taking help of my previous year's planner. I'll be flipping through all of these planners and writing down the progresses I have made so far. Now in 2024 only I have started 24 goals of 2024 but in previous year in 2019, 2020 all that there was was 2 to 3 goals. So So I'm going to just reflect back on those goals. I'm going to see what I had achieved. So what I've also started in 2024 is doing quarterly reviews. So I did mention it in my plan of flip through but I'll say it once again. I write down what I am grateful for, what I was proud of, what do I wish I did more of, what do I wish I did less of. So that really helps me keep track of the things in one page if you guys are not someone who likes maintaining planners but if you want to keep track of all the goals that you have achieved whenever you have achieved a goal write down on your notes like every phone has notes so you can just write down so that will also be helpful so without further delay i'm going to take my sweet little time i'm going to flip through my planner and write down all the progresses i have made so far <music> So as per the manifestation challenge, I'm gonna meet a mentor. So I am meeting her at the Himalayan Java. While I was waiting for her, I was reading the memoir of Matthew Perry. More about the mentor, she's also working in the same industry as I am, and we share almost similar story and educational background. So I thought, why not get guidance from her? I did not film this part because I thought she would not be quite comfortable. But I'm very grateful I did meet her. I was just sitting and chilling and soaking up all the goodness of the sun. So while I was doing that, I thought, why not do another challenge? So today's challenge is practice patience and trust the process. I'm not a great person when it comes to patience, but in certain parts of my life, I am great. with the practicing patience but in certain times i am not like i'm a very rigid person and i want things to go my way i want things to go the right way but that's not how life is so practicing patience might be one of the most challenging task for me and trusting the process is also likewise equally challenging because sometimes i get too anxious too rigid i want things to go my way i want things to go right way i want things to be done at certain times so this might be the most difficult one among the rest of the challenges that i took so for this one all i can do is practice meditation every day so which i have been doing in 2024 and as i said earlier as well i use the app called balance and that has actually helped me quite a lot Uh, whenever i feel anxious i use the techniques that the balance app has taught me like counting your breathing so that has actually helped me quite a lot so if you are also someone who is not quite a patient person then you guys can try meditation as well I am at the end of this manifestation challenge. This is the final activity that I'll be doing, which is replacing negative thought with positive thoughts. Negative things just pop up in my head rather than positive things. So for this what I have started doing is whenever I open my planner or my journal, I write down one thing that I am grateful for so that I can practice patience, trust the process as well as replace negative thoughts with positive thoughts. This is just a 
step towards placing negative thoughts with positive thoughts i want to see at the end of the year if i will be able to do that or not let's see with that i have come to the end of this video i hope you guys like this manifestation challenge if you have made this far to this video do not forget to leave this emoji in the comment section below with that please do not forget to hit the subscribe button down below like this video and until next time bye